Well, I'm kind of feeling bad about the video you're about to watch. The seller, I talked to him, and he gave me a substantial amount of money back on the guitar. But I had the video done, so I added this to it to say that, um, you know, he stood behind the guitar. He made it good money-wise, so we were both happy. And um, basically, uh, he told me that the guitar comes from a warehouse. The guys at the warehouse take the pictures that he puts online. And then they ship the guitars out in the box. So he had no idea this was going on. So he gave me a substantial amount of money back. And I want to tell him thanks for that. The video was done. It's an honest video about the guitar and what I got product-wise. He didn't know it was happening either. So now everybody knows. So hopefully these problems will get fixed. And I'm not blaming the seller at all. I'm going to leave him positive feedback. And um, everything should be good. Uh, but I'm going to leave the video up. And we're going to... Watch it now. Okay. This is a Volgoer guitar that I got off of eBay. I got it from a seller called Jackson Guitar. Uh, it was $125, and that's with the shipping and the taxes. So he has in his ad that these things have been returned. So it also says that they are stand tall in structural and functional grace. Okay. So they're supposed to be decent guitars. And as far as you look on the picture, they look fine. So anyway, I've already cut this. So I'm going to let you see what it actually really is. I'm going to explain to what's wrong with it. If there is anything wrong. But you know there is. Okay, we're going to take this out first. Put it in here. Okay, let me see the camera. All right, I want to show you what the packaging looks like. This is the box it came in, just like this. And inside here, as you can see, I get down in here, see all the little brown balls in here? See all that it looks like dirt? That's not dirt. That is the silicone packet busted open and fell all in here and rolled around all through this little shitty box. And basically, um, when you see what it did to the back of the guitar, you're not gonna like that either, but anyway, that's that part. You can see exactly how it came in this box. One box, this is it. This is a box that you're supposed to ship inside a box, but they're not doing that. Okay, let's go back to the guitar. Here, take the camera. Film it up. Here we go. Okay, this guitar was pictured with a broken string, which you can see right there. It does have a broken string. That's not a problem. It's just a string. But since this string was loose in here and there was no padding and this was rocking around everywhere in there, it scratched the hell out of the neck right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but right here from my finger, this string was clear over here and scratched this all up. Okay, so then we got down here. Here's what it did. If you can see from here across, that's what it did in the box to the back. The picture online does not have any of that crud and them scratches. It was clean to be clean. This is not what's in the picture. Okay, so other than that, we have five. Can you get that real close right there? Can you see it? Am I close enough? These frets right here at the edge, right there, all these frets, there's five of them there. They are not in the guitar. They are all sticking up like probably a sixteenth of an inch out of the fretboard. Looks like somebody actually hammered or tried to hammer these ones right here back in. You can see how bad it is. So I gotta fix all of them. I'm pissed. Ah, uh, okay, anyway, the fretboard is really nice. It's a really nice fretboard. The guitar's an excellent weight. The knobs, I didn't even try them, but that one's good. This one here is good, switch is good. This knob is turning right. Seems to be good. Uh, is there a jack in it? Yep, jack plates over here. And it looks pretty solid, it's metal. Uh, the tuners are basically same tuners that everybody has, that you know everybody ships out, it's the same ones. So that, and then basically right here, there's a scarf joint right here that you can actually feel. Right across here, there's a scarf joint. I don't think that's breakage because the paint's not cracked, but there's, you can actually see the scarf joint back in here in the back. 
See that? I don't know if, you get, if you're getting that or not, but right there, that scarf joint by the end of the neck, and then all the scratches that are on this side, all the way up through the frets there. See how it's all scratched up? So, you know, we got that going on. Uh, other than that, there's some dirt and crud on this, which needs cleaned off. But in my mind, I shouldn't have paid 125 bucks for this. You know, not with having to fix the frets on it, all the scratch work here, all this crud here, and them shipping into that crappy box. You know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have paid what I paid for it. I will fix it up. We will tune it up. I will play, oh, there's scratches all up through here, too. Which the scratches, you know, it says they may have scratches. So this got scratched in that box is what happened. And that, that, that could be a break. I can stick my finger, I can catch it with my finger. I'll have to tune it up, and if that separates, I'm shipping this back. I didn't see that till today. When I took it out yesterday, I didn't see it. But that may be a break right there, and I'm not fixing that if that's a break. So... You can see it right there. That's 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 a scuff joint there, which is actually that's a crack. I think I think that that actually is. I don't know if it's a surface crack or that's a that's an actual crack because it, it was rock. It would have to be rocking and rolling it is because it's like somebody just threw it in the box like that and said hell with it. That's what it's like. So I'm really upset about it, but I will do a uh, if I keep it and I fix it, I will do a video on playing it to see how it sounds. And that'll be that. So like, subscribe, and enjoy. Share the video. Thumbs up. Don't forget. And we're good to go. Shut that damn camera off.